Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C and we're looking at air-to-air -air gunnery. So there are two main modes we can use. Firstly, without radar track. Secondly, with radar track. Now there is a third option which is for training use, but we're not going to be looking at that today. Controls that we're going to be using today to fire the gun. We've got gun trigger, second detent. To select the gun, that there. If we want to reject the current radar lock that we've got, we can use that there. First we'll show without radar track. So master arm on there and we're going to press select gun we've now got the gun selected now because we want to ensure that we don't use the radar track we're going to have to turn our radar off otherwise it's going to do everything it can to use the radar radar cannot be used now symbology here this will automatically come up we've got the wingspan of the predicted target and we're going to need that for this gun funnel here to be calibrated correctly so we're going to punch that in ufc wingspan in this case, we're fighting flankers, which have a wingspan of about 47 feet. Wingspan now 47 feet. Rate of fire, do we want 6,000 rounds per minute? 4,000 rounds per minute. Ammunition type, we've got the M50 series of ammunition here, or the PGU, which is basic SAFI, which is, is going to be our, our default for this gun. The amount of rounds left for our gun, and confirm that master arm is on, which it is. Up here, gun also confirms master arm is on and gun is selected and we have that many rounds here we have our gun cross here this is where the gun is actually going to be fired at we've got our gun funnel here let me just get a better view of it this is an inertial driven gun funnel only it has no information coming from the target so we've got the bullet position after 1000 feet of travel from me will be there the bullet position after 2000 feet of travel will be there this is our gun funnel the idea is to locate the enemy so that his wing tips touch the sides of the gun funnel like that that will automatically means he's at the right range and aspect to fire out the hostile that's about it pull the trigger and you'll fire the gun now that is really a backup the only reason we'd ever use this gun funnel without a radar lock is if we, our radar was broken for some reason in which case we probably wouldn't be dogfighting or if we wanted to go radar silent neither of which are particularly realistic so we're going to put our radar back on what happens now is as soon as you select the gun it goes into an automatic mode where it's going to try to attain a radar lock that is called GACQ gun automatic acquisition what it does is it searches everywhere within the HUDS field of view here up to five nautical miles range we can see if we look down here it's an acm mode and it's doing a five bar scan it's basically scanning the hud you can see exactly what it's doing there however realistically you're never going to be looking at this in a gunfight now this is all assuming that you haven't already got a radar track you could have got a radar track from a bvr type radar search or you could have got one from an acm type radar search both of which we have full videos on but we're going to say we didn't have a radar track and we have to get one so let's go and find the enemy my rwr is telling me they're over here somewhere ah i see them right so it's automatically picked up the first guy that entered the hut now we've got new symbology that we need to talk about so it's a bit scrunched up here but we've got again the gun and the amount of ammunition we've got the target designator box as you'd see from any radar engagement we've got a closing velocity of 880 knots We've got a radar range of 3.2 nautical miles. Here we have our gun reticle. This will serve for many functions. First of all, if we place the reticle dot on the target, and because this reticle is computed from our radar information, we could be assured that we will have automatically the correct lead set for the shot. So it's a radar guided gun sight. This is our ranging cue, this inner winding clock. And as we get to two miles, this will start winding inwards like that. When it gets to this marker here, this is the maximum range cue. So once this guy comes around here and gets past this, we will get a shoot sign and we are in range to fire. Now the maximum range to fire is not feet or miles, it's actually time is 1.5 seconds of bullet travel at the end of 1.5 seconds of bullet travel the bullet is no longer considered effective so once this guy gets past this guy here we're in range to fire and there's no real minimum range all that leaves is the g4 sight cue now this is not really going to work in the aspect that we're here but we've got a four sight cue in the plane of motion of the hostile if we look at these wings here this here and that there that would represent the hostile turning at 1g and we go to the extreme here that cross there would be the four sight cue to say that the hostile is turning at 9g so the hostile is going to be turning somewhere between 1g and 9g the rest of the information down here is basically the same there's a bit of a funny angle here so i may have to reacquire so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to reject that target so i press target reject in fact that's just one quick thing i wanted to show there as he went out of the hub there you saw i had an arrow pointer telling me 
where to go if he went outside the HUD. And it is normal in a guns engagement, he will be outside the HUD because we will probably be pulling extreme lead. So I'm going to turn back onto him. I've reselected the gun. So we've got GACQ. It's searching for him automatically. It's going to pick him up, hopefully. It can take a few seconds to pick him up. That's just the limitations of a radar. We've got a closing speed of 90 knots and we're going to go in, go in for a kill. 2.4 nautical miles range. You see the Foresight Q is just aligning itself now to the hostile's plane of motion. And I'm going to start aligning my reticle on the target. Closing speed 150, 160 knots. You can see it winding now. We're still out of range. We cannot fire or should not fire until we meet, meet the 1.5 second marker. 6,000 feet. Still out of effective range of gun. We're now within 1.5 seconds of bullet time range. I can now shoot. I am on the extreme range of the cannon, but bear in mind. So I may still not hit with a lot of bullet spread, a lot of bullet deviation. Generally, I need to be a lot closer to actually hit him. We're about half range now. We should start scoring hits now. If something's wrong, if I'm not. Boom! And he's taken down. So that shows all of the elements of the air-to-air -air gun that I want to show. I hope that was useful and see you later.